Hello you guys, happy April. It's Emily, I can't believe it's April already. And we have some April showers going on outside. So if you hear background noise, that's what that is. But I wanted to hop on here and let you guys know what I have been warming, what scents I have been using in my home and just chat with you guys because I miss talking with you all. So I wanted to remind you that the spring and summer catalog is out. Um, I will have it available digitally for you guys this year, but um, there are just a lot of beautiful things in the catalog. Lots of new pretty warmers, lots of nice returning warmers. Look at this cute little flamingo. Um, uh, lots of new scents, um, which is always my favorite part, of course. <laughs> so I will be reviewing some of these for you guys once I can get my hands on them. We have our Disney stuff in here. We have Harry Potter in the catalog now. So if you know any Harry Potter fans, this beautiful warmer is in the catalog. It's exquisite, you guys. I have it and it's just, it's stunning. It's the best warmer that I own, but I might be biased because I love Harry Potter. <laughs> so just lots of good things in here. Um, and I will be sharing more about those, of course. But today I wanted to share with you guys what I've been using in my home because it's kind of an odd time, right? Like. It's spring, but it's still kind of cold here, and it's just it's just an odd time. Like, I don't know what I should be warming, so I've been warming a lot of bakery scents, a lot of vanillas, and yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys and let me know what you guys have been warming in your homes, because I love to know, I love to chat. All things fragrance. So, the first scent that I've been warming is Lemon Sorbet. It's one of my favorite lemon scents by Scentsy. And it is, it's just amazing. It's like a candied lemon. I think there's grapefruit in here. Um, I believe there's like yuzu or something. Let me just look because that will be easier to just tell you what the notes are. But it's like a candied, a light candied citrus scent. It is lemon, grapefruit zest, and sugar cane. Yes, so that's what I really smell is that sugar cane. It's a very, very nice blend. So if you like lemon scents, I highly recommend lemon sorbet. Then we have, this was the Chase Rainbows Yellow, but they actually put this in the catalog. So now it's called Sparkling Yellow, and this is another citrusy scent. I like to use my lemon scents in the kitchen. So this is lemonade, grapefruit, and pineapple. To me, this kind of smells like a yellow Skittle, honestly. And then when it's warming, it kind of smells like, um, I don't know if you guys know the scent Oodles of Orange, but it kind of smells like that to me. That was an older scent that they bring back every once in a while. So I enjoy it. It's not super strong. I, I feel like it should be a little bit stronger than it is, but it is a nice citrusy scent if you're looking for that in your kitchen. So next I have been warming um, this is from the winter catalog. This is Frosted Vanilla and it is so good, you guys. Next year, the next in the in the winter time, not next year, the end of this year. Um, when this comes back, you guys need to grab some if you love vanilla. It's so good. It's like, I think there's birch and then vanilla and there's something else in here, but it just blends so well together. It's like a sophisticated, calming, just cool winter vanilla and I absolutely love it. That one was very, very popular this past winter. And then I've been warming coffee tree. So I like to have a coffee scent in my kitchen because I can't drink coffee, you guys, because my anxiety just goes crazy when I drink coffee. And so I had to cut it out. I don't even drink decaf, um, but this is a nice um, coffee scent that I believe, I'm not sure the notes in this one because this is an older one that's not available, but I feel like it has like a cookie dough note or something in it because there's something kind of sweetening up that coffee bean or it might just be one of the, the, the fragrances that they used in it, but it's really, really good. I enjoy it and it's, it's a good, it's a pretty good performer. It's pretty strong. I can smell it like all the way in my living room when I use it. So I like to use that in the morning in this, in this cute little warmer right here. So that is coffee tree. And then um, I have been warming a lot of vanilla lately. So I love vanilla scents, probably because my mom warmed vanilla all when I was growing up and then I just became accustomed to it. So this is like a classic French vanilla scent. It has a little bit of coconut milk in it, but it's not, you can't really smell the coconut milk. It just kind of creams it out even more. 
so it's beautiful i really love it um not available anymore but it is a really really nice scent that i have been enjoying then surprisingly i have been warming vanilla bean buttercream so this is a year-round catalog scent like it's always in the catalog and it's a classic bakery vanilla bean frosting type of scent and there was something in it at first like i didn't really like it i just wasn't too sure about it i preferred sugar cookie to this but like it's always in the catalog and i had a bar and i said well you know what let me just put it in i'll put it in the kitchen since i'm kind of been doing bakery scents and i really enjoy it i actually put it in the office too and my husband's so funny he goes it smells like cake in here and then isaiah my son he goes in there he's like oh it smells good in here so there you go you have the approval of my three-year-old <laughs> there he is calling me right now one second buddy so that's vanilla bean buttercream that one is available all year round really enjoy that and then i have been warming through one of my bricks the black raspberry vanilla this one you can get in scentsy club and um i've been doing pretty good so i actually have got through more than half and this i just chopped up some of it so this piece actually goes like right here so i only have about five big cubes left but this is just dark berries and vanilla this is a classic scent. It's always like in the top three sellers every single year. Um, and people love it. My aunt loves the scent for her car. She uses the car bar in this. And then she bought the wax too. So she just is hooked on it. She actually told me when my grandma got in the car with her, she was like, your car smells so good. So a lot of people love this scent, no matter what kind of scents you like. I've had people that usually like floral scents tell me they like this. Um, people who usually just like vanilla and apple, like my aunt, like this. One second, buddy. So that is black raspberry vanilla. The only thing I will say about this one is I wish it was stronger. I, it's a good performer. Like it's, it's a good background scent. I'll say if you like a medium kind of just in the background, not too heavy. It, it's a very good company scent. This is the one I posted about. Um, if you're having company over, I would this is one that I that I would warm because it's not really gonna offend anybody you know but I wish it was stronger for me personally and it does come in this bar size I just have a brick that does you know an extra and the wax fans we know the deal so it does it does come in this size but so that's what I've been warming my little buddy is summoning me now so I have to go but um thanks guys for watching let me know what you guys have been warming and I will talk to you guys later Bye.